Hi, welcome to our channel where we create Bible art lessons for kids of all ages. Let's see if we can do some artwork today by melting crayons. Now we've done a melted crayon project before. You've probably seen a lot of them on Pinterest where the crayons are dripping down the painting, but we wondered could we melt crayons and actually do art with them? And the answer is yes. So let's do it. You will need a canvas or a canvas board, crayons, and a heat gun, but that's not something everyone has in their home. So you can grab a hairdryer. And I will tell you that I actually enjoyed the hairdryer over the heat gun because it didn't get as hot and I didn't have to worry about burning my fingers or catching something on fire, which is important. This is a project that you can do with broken crayons, all those naked broken crayons and pieces of crayons that you have around your home. But after playing with this, I enjoyed it so much that I would, I actually brought out the new crayons uh, too because it was just fun. And the sharper, the newer crayons have that pointed end on them. So it allows you to kind of draw before the crayon melts too much. So to begin, you're going to take your hair dryer and you're going to heat your canvas just a little bit. Just let the hot air blow on it. It only needs a few seconds. And then you can take your crayon, hold it down over the area of your canvas that's warm, and it will start melting the crayon a little bit. And then you just start moving the crayon around and create the shapes of the flowers that you want to make. You can draw flowers with a crayon on your canvas before you apply the heat. And then that way you can see where you want to melt the rest of your crayon. All I'm gonna do is play around with the crayons and see how they react to the heat and then how, when I move it around, how other colors that I add to that will react with one another. And then I'll just work myself through the flower shapes, the flower petals, and then I'll start adding more detail. You can go back over the color or the wax areas with another color and create more depth and add more details. Now, if you get an area with the wrong color or the hairdryer blows a stray drop over on an area that you didn't want, you can heat that area or heat that wax up with the hairdryer for just a few seconds. And then you can take a paper towel and just kind of gently wipe that area off. Or it's not overly hot, you could, um, I use my fingers, but for small kiddos, it might be a little too warm for that. So I would test it first before um, you just let them go crazy with their fingers. Now to answer your question, that I am sure is on your mind, did I melt the crayons around the artwork? And the answer is yes. Yes, I did. I did. It looks really cool for the video, but it is highly impractical. So move your crayons away from your artwork and then you won't have the problems that I did.
Now see where I wasn't paying attention to where the heat was blowing or blasting the wax? I got the green leaf melting into my rose and I don't want that. And that's what I was telling you earlier. I'm just gonna heat that up and then remove it and I use my fingers. Now, you can leave your artwork just as it is, or what if we melt crayons and make the background? I wondered. And then after that, I really wasn't happy with the effect, but I wondered, could I use a paintbrush to move and distribute the color and blend it out a little bit better? And you can. So, this wasn't a challenge to melt crayon only and not use a paintbrush, so I happily grabbed the paintbrush. And that's it. You can create an artwork or a flower bouquet from melting crayons. This art project reminds us that we are broken. Sometimes we are lonely. We no longer fit in the pack with the rest of the crayons. Um, this just reminds us that God can take broken people, broken leftover pieces and make something beautiful with them. He fixes the broken. He's with the lonely, and he makes us into something new. In him, we are a new creation.